it's Lori here today with my weekly wax basket. As I mentioned in yesterday's empties video, my theme for the week is using up the leftovers, which I know doesn't sound <laughs> particularly awesome, but in this case, I think it is. I don't like taking, you know, like pieces like this, just a few pieces left and putting them back in the drawer. I would much rather use them up. So I've been kind of saving them off to the side in a basket to use up at the end of this month. So we'll see if this works out, if this is something that I want to do moving forward. As I mentioned yesterday, I don't know if this is something I'm going to do on a monthly basis or periodically. So let's see how it goes this week and I will report back. So I actually have it all <laughs> spread out in front of me. It's kind of a mess. So let's mo get moving so I can put all this stuff in the basket like I normally do and move forward. Okay, so I have this Rose Girls Sugar Cookie Latte. I have used part of this bag here. I really enjoy this one. I do enjoy adding some extra coffee to this, so I will be doing that this week. Speaking of, I have about a half a scoop left of this Snickers coffee from L3, so I thought that might be good to mix in with the Rose Girls to give it a little bit of coffee boost. That might be fun to do. And also I have five cubes left of this coffee ice cream, which is coffee and vanilla ice cream from that Smell Good shop. So these are all my coffee selections, obviously. I have one day left of melting of the sugar cookie latte from Southbound, which is freshly baked sugar cookies with, with sweet vanilla, roasted coffee beans, and sweet cream. This came in a bakery bag and I did rebag it since I only had the four pieces left. And then this is still hanging around this Nana's Nog eggnog with a little kick from that Smell Good shop. I thought I could mix that in. And I didn't get to melting this last week from the Pharmacist Daughter Coffee House. Love this scent from them. So yeah, I just got a loaf of that in and I love that scent. Okay, <clears throat> as I get moving on some bedroom melts, I have a few things left here. And I actually have a couple things in there still. I have Satsuma from Hayden Row and a blend from L3. So you'll see those in my empties. I forgot to add them to the basket this week. I do have a basket, basket that I keep in my bedroom. So those will be in the empties, I'm sure, because they are almost gone. This is from Zape the Mad Hatter, which is tea and cakes, March hares, and Cheshire cats. So I melted this in my main living space and only have the two pieces left. So I thought it'd be perfect to finish this up in the bedroom. I have Tropical Punch from L3. This was in a cutie patootie. She doesn't use that shape very often. <laughs> from VCS, we have Backwoods Barbie, Drinks a Bomb, Bomb Pop Martini, Satsuma Strawberry Cotton Candy, and Blue Raspberry Cherry Rocket Pop with Lemon Lime Fizz. A few pieces there. Savannah Blue Tropical Twister, Blue Hawaiian, Blue Raspberry Slushy, and Saltwater Taffy. And then just a couple, couple few <laughs> pieces of this Blonde Moment from L3. So these should get used up and enjoyed this week. Okay, so for my bathroom, I have a couple of scents in there as well. I have an ivory soap from the Melted Mousse. I'm trying to think of what else is in there. And don't be salty from Rose Girls. It was a chunk muffin. I will continue to use that this week and see. I don't know if I'm gonna use that whole thing up. It's a large, you know, chunk muffins get at least four to six melts. I would say probably six in that bathroom warmer. It's a smaller dish and so I don't overload it at all. So we'll see. But I will continue to work on this footy pajamas. This was a souffle from Hayden Row. Sweet lavender, blueberry, and lemon laundry. This is a really nice scent. I have a sample here from Rose Girls Blackberry Mango Cup of Cake. My son actually likes bakery in his bathroom at night, so we might use it there. I have one piece left of this Leprechaun Mint from the Bathing Garden and Destination Wax, one of my favorites. Thai Temple Garden, which is dark roses, incense, and aromatic sandalwood mingling with ancient mossy Buddhist statues. Just such a great, great scent. I have two pieces left. And then I thought I would try, so this is new to the basket, Luna from Scentsy. So my friend Casey sent this over in the swap. It smells so good. I want to go ahead and melt, you know, one or two cubes this week. So we'll see how it performs for me, but I'm excited to add that to the basket. 
Okay, so the rest of these are for my main living space in my living room. And I did pull some brand new for the week retail wax scents because if you saw my video that went up earlier today, I have a Walmart haul that I did with the Blast from the Past wax melts. I wanted to make some room for those in my drawer, so I kind of did some rearranging and thought would now would be a really good time to use some summer scents from retail wax. So I grabbed this. This was in the basket last week, so it was a holdover. Peach Papaya from Sensationals. We have Happy Home. I have a lot of these. I got these on clearance for 25 cents. So I'm going to go ahead and use some more of those up. Making room. We have Aloha Smoothie. This is another one I picked up on a great sale. Festival Vibes from Sensationals. And I pulled, I thought there was more. Yeah, there's another one down here. P pulled a couple of these from Hobby Lobby. I want to try these out. I only have one clamshell of these each. So I want to try these out, see if I like them. And if not, then they'll be a one and done for me. This is Sweet Essence, which is cotton candy, melon, and musk. The melon scares me a little. So we'll see if that one's going to be a yay or nay. <laughs> and then Sweet Memories, Spun Vanilla Sugar, Rock Candy, and Gummy Treats here. Those are a few, let me stick these over here. And then I'm gonna combine these because for some reason I only have three cubes of this Orchard Apples from Better Homes and Gardens left over. I'm gonna combine it with Beezy's Lavender Apple. I just got this, this was recommended to me by a viewer. Unfortunately, it's not enough apple for me. I really like the lavender in this, but I was really hoping for higher apple <laughs> content. Hayden Row has a great lavender apple and it's very heavy on the delicious apple scent in there. It's a great Mac apple. Not a delicious apple, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so I think I'm going to boost it a little bit with this remaining. I thought this would be a good week to use this up and combine it, see if I like it that way. Because I think Beezy's is a little bit heavier on the lavender than I was looking for. So we'll give it a try. And then I have three cubes left over from Zapes Helium here. So I thought I would use that in some of my warmers and then use this Fruity Pebbles from K's and other warmers and this Loopy Peeps Bar from the Melted Mousse. I thought that would be a great combination of cereal scents going on in all of my warmers. Okay, so this scent is a holdover from last week and my husband actually, I don't know why I picked this up and said, Wow, I really like this one. You know, you don't like it? I'm like, yeah, I really do. So it's a holdover, and I thought it needed to go back in the basket. B-A-N-A-N-A-S <laughs> from Vintage Chic. It says banana caramel cupcakes, banana crepes, and banana nut bread. And you know I love my banana sets. And he liked it too, so perfect. Time to stick that back in the basket. I have Rose Girl Sandra D. Three pieces left in this chunk muffin that I cut up. And I do have a scoop in the same scent. So it's about mm, a little bit, about halfway gone, close to that. So I thought that'd be good to combine the two in my warmers and at least finish up the chunk muffin. That'll be good. We have Teddy Bees, and I had already cut this up, but we didn't use it. Laid on the Beach and Strawberry Boom Boom. Blend of beach nights and boardwalk marshmallow clouds layered with strawberry pound cake, BBW type, and boom boom cream. That's all cut up and ready. I have this Zape Trophy Wife. I have enough for one full melting session in my main living space. This is strawberry cotton candy and mandarin orange. This smells amazing. We have Vintage Chic or VCS, Go Your Own Way, Pineapple Upside Down Cake, Cherry and Yellow Cake in her, what is it, the Shatter? Like brittle type of thing. L3 Blushing Smurf, Blue Raspberry Jello, Honey Buttered Rolls, and Strawberry Pound Cake. This was a custom that we did when she did her custom chunks. I had this remaining, a holdover from a previous week, L3 Banana Pineapple Bahama Vacation. I'm assuming this was somebody's custom chunk that they did, and when I purchased the mystery bag, it came in there. I have some of my loaf from Sassy Wax Melts Tea Time, which is iced lemon cookies, lemon pound cake, and tea and cakes. I did order another one of these. You saw that on my recent haul, so I do have a backup. I wanna enjoy that one. 
We have banana bread carbs from Rose Girls, which is banana cream pie, baked zucchini bread, and cookies and donuts. She did have these in mini melters, and you know I picked up another bag. I love this scent. Fabulous. We have pina colada from, I want to say HR, it's Hayden Rowe. <laughs> Fantastic pina colada scent. Good Morning Sunshine from Southbound Candle Company. Strawberry, orange juice, and creamy vanilla smoothie. I will probably rebag this if I don't go through all of it because you know what you guys know. I love those bags. And then we have Broadway Wax. Fit is a fiddle. Toasted pralines and pears, vanilla ice cream, bread pudding, and raspberry jam. I think I have enough for one melting. So... I will enjoy that. That's a really nice scent. So we have Dirty Blonde from Teddy B's, Orange Sherbet, Marshmallows, Champagne, Raspberries, and Cranberries, which is Blonde Moment. This one is not my favorite Blonde Moment blend, and I think it's because of the Orange Sherbet makes it more creamy. I like my Blonde Moment to be a little bit more fizzy, I guess, but I'm going to enjoy this. I do have another bag of it. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's just, I think I like it more fizzy. So I will enjoy this in my living room. It didn't work in the bedroom, but I think this will work really nicely out in the living room. And then I'm still working. Hopefully I can get through this this week. Here's hoping. It's, I really like this scent, but it's from my D stash that I purchased. It came out in 2018, or this one was poured in 2018. Cookie Monster and the Five Families. I really, really like this. I'm getting close to being at, to the end of this. It was a loaf that I purchased. I really like this one, but I don't want to carry it over too far in the future because of the fact that it was a 2018 pour. I have just a few pieces left of this Margaritaville, and you guys know I've talked about this several times. I don't know what's in this oil. It's too floral for my nose. It's got a weird note to it, so I thought I might mix this. I don't know where, but I'll put it... <laughs> I'm going to mix it. I'm determined to mix it in. And then I have Ice Cream Shop, two cubes left of this. I might mix it a little bit in with this um, Cookie Monster because I find this is really good mixed in with a really nice heavy bakery. It adds a nice strawberry element to it. So I might do a little mixology and use that one up. So I do have a candle. I have one that is almost done and I believe it's lit right now in my living room. That is, I want to say, is it summertime? It's like summertime s'mores or something like that. Probably it's summertime something. <laughs> you guys will see it in my empties next week. It's an old Bath and Body Works candle, I think from 2013, 2012, something like that. It actually has pretty good throw still. Reminds me of Marshmallow Fireside. So it's very similar to that. I was going to do some research and find out maybe if it was a repackage or Marshmallow Fireside was repackaged from that candle. But it's very similar. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It's going to bug me now. But anyway, that one is almost gone probably gone in a couple of days. Oh, I wanted to pull another candle to use as my candle of the week. This is a Homeworks candle. So these are giant, as you know. Citrus Mojito here. I just recently got this from Ulta. And the scent notes are pomelo, kumquat, tangerine, and mint. So as you know, you take this off. So we've got four wicks. Very substantial, heavy candles. These do really well for me. It's just a matter of trying to get a hold of these. I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to buy them on QVC, pay the shipping, and I've heard, you know, horror stories about that. Plus, a lot of times you have to buy them in packs of three, and you might not like all the scents. So I would rather be able to smell them at the store. I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way and not all the Ulta stores in my area carry them. So if I'm out by a store that has them, I like to pop in and see what they have. So I have a few of these homework candles. So I'm going to try to intermix those in. Most of them I consider more late summer, fall and winter candles, just some of the the mix, <laughs> just some of the scent mixes that I picked up. But this was a summer one and I thought, let's burn this this week. It smells so good. My husband really likes the, sm the scent of this one as well. So I'm excited to use this as our candle of the week. So as far as my naughty crack, I'm not sure. <laughs> I have a candle that might end up going in there. I kind of rotate because I typically burn my candles for three to four hours max at a time and let them completely like cool off 
and then you know sometimes overnight let them cool and then light them again the following day so I usually have two to three candles in rotation that I'm using but I like to have a candle of the week that I'm focusing on with you guys so that I can show you you know what my progress is in the mornings if I'm melting coffee I have been melting or burning actually my Paris cafe candle from Bath and Body Works that's strong it's good but it's not everybody said it, it will knock your socks off and you know push you out of the house it doesn't I, I like my candle strong and coffee is fine <laughs> I love a good strong coffee scent so I am still working on that one and yeah I think this will be great I think I will have a lot of empties next week let's see I mean I'm anticipating another busy week here but I think I will have a lot of empties so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have a melting basket are you doing a fourth of July basket for the week prior or next week I will be doing something along the lines of things that remind me of 4th of July. So you'll see that next week. I'm excited to share that with all of you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, everybody.